An important thing to know about programmers is they love shortcuts. And we have a few of Java's shortcuts here with Java's arithmetic shortcuts, plus equals, minus equals, times equals, divide equals, and modulus division equals. And they do what you would expect in that they add, subtract, multiply, and divide, but the assignment operator is going to add a special functionality to them. In this example, I start out with num being assigned to 100, and then I'm simply going to print out num. So if I was to run the program right now, I would get the value 100. Now let's say that I wanted to add 100 to this. I could say num is assigned to num plus 100. And what that would give us now is 200. But hopefully you can see that there's some redundancy here in that num is in the expression twice. We could take num out once and write a statement like this, num equals plus 100. But if we try to run this right now, this is using a shortcut, but the shortcut is written incorrectly. It's important to note with arithmetic shortcuts that the operator is always going to come before the assignment operator. It should read plus equals, not equals plus. And so if we were to run this program right now, we would get the value 300. So we start with 100, we add 100 on this line, doing it the longer way, and then we add a shortcut doing plus equals. And it too does the exact same thing as this line above, adding 100, and our value would then be 300. Now, I want to show you using more of the shortcuts in this program line by line. In this teal or blue box down at the bottom, I'm going to show the equivalent of what the shortcut would look like if we chose not to use the shortcuts. So here's the output of what the program would look like if we ran it right now. And we're going to start just like we did with the last program with 100. And then we're going to add 100 to num. If we were going to do it the long way, we would say num equals num plus 100. But because we're using the shortcut and doing the exact same statement, we're going to say num plus equals 100. And if we were to print that out, we would get 200 because 100 plus 100 is 200. Now if we use the next shortcut, num minus equals 100, we'd be subtracting 100 and we would get 100. On the next line, we say num times equals 100 that would be 100 times 100, and that would give us 10,000. Next, we're using the divide equals, and that's going to take 10,000 and divide it by 100, which would give us 100 again. And lastly, we would use the mod equals, which is going to find the remainder. And if we took 100 and modestly divided it by 100, it would divide one time with a remainder of zero. And that's why we see a zero in the output over there. And also, the equivalent would be num equals num modestly divided by 100. Arithmetic shortcuts combine the assignment operator with an arithmetic operator, just as we've seen in the prior examples. So num is assigned to num plus 10 is equal to num plus equals 10. It's important to note that the arithmetic operator always goes before the assignment. So it's going to be plus equals or minus equals, not equals minus. That will cause an error. It's also important to note that you never put a space between the arithmetic operator and the assignment operator. If you do this, you'll get an error. So you can see right here there's a space, and that would definitely cause an error. As I said as the video started, programmers love shortcuts, and arithmetic shortcuts are an important part of this if you are planning to do calculations in your program.